Backstory. This is a replay. I know how long this game lasts. I know who wins this game. Okay. <laughs> um, normally, once again, I still don't commentate replays all that much, but I've just done two essentially back to back. So, you know, it's kind of, that might not be true anymore. I have a good reason for casting this one. I was, I just got off work, I went into the call with my friends, and the first thing they said to me was, if you commentated our last game, you will see something special. Apparently this game was a total clown show. Like, you, in his exact words, you can't even see this in bronze. I don't exactly know what that means. Apparently there were some dirt nasty plays all over the place and this game was a total fiesta. As it was promised to me. So, I don't know what their standards are, I don't know what I'm really expecting, but there we go, Red Team's gonna kick off the game with an invade. And they're beelining straight for that red buff. A blue team knows, they did walk over a ward, so now they're going to shift their attention to top lane. It's gonna be a Fiora top against Cho'Gath. It's gonna be Fiddlestick jungling against the Lee Sin. It's gonna be a Shaco mid against Zerath. Wait, what? It's gonna be a Shaco mid? <laughs> I, I just went over matchups, didn't even process what that meant. A Shaco mid? So it's AP then. Yeah, he's AP. Gen ADC with Spar support against Ash ADC and Zyra support. Ash Zyra is very annoying. Plant poke plus Wally poke is pretty unbearable uh, in the laning phase for most matchups. Jin is pretty strong in the lane, so there's that. We are going to have Fiddle, who is actually starting on the enemy red cam, and he's going to be found out here by the Cho'Gath. He's trying to drain it out, he gets it! He's level 2, leveling up the fear, he fears away the Cho'Gath. Is he going to make out like a bandit though? The entire mid lane and jungler rotating, direct the camera! Okay, they do get spotted, Fiddle 6 might make it out. Here comes the Sonic Wave, it's going to get flash over, Lee Sin doesn't get it. He's actually going to steal away the red buff and he pays it with his own. That Windows notification was mine. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I th it's a bug in 10.9 that's uh, a few friends and myself experienced. When you first launch this game and you start hitting buttons, you get like the error sound that sometimes happens. It's only in 10.9. I don't know why. Meanwhile, bot lanes are going to be stunned up, nothing bad happening out of that. Fiora is losing a trade up top against the Cho'Gath, who is apparently starting a Doran's ring. Instead of a Doran's shield. It is winning him the trade though. Grass proc on the Fiora, it's actually racking up quite a bit. Fiora has to be careful. Actually, how do you even lose that badly to a Cho'Gath? Shaco is going to shiv a few times at mid. It's going to be totally fine. There's so many boxes here now. They're actually doing a decent job of clearing the backline, getting him some farm. He's actually zoning away the Zeras pretty efficiently here. Cho'Gas gonna land the rupture. Can't actually get the kill. Fiora does have a parry. She's losing the straight straight up flash! Oh, but he doesn't connect the auto! She does flash away before the windup can finish. So that's gonna be Fiora safe, but it's a flash for flash. She will have to recall now. Now if I was her, I wouldn't teleport back. Okay, she's teleporting back. You don't actually need to teleport back to this. You gotta save yourself that 7 minute cooldown. Your tower is not gonna be in danger if you just like walked back. Now if you use TP early on, it's not the worst play ever. I just personally don't like it because teleport cooldown is so long early game. That catching her wave at the middle of the lane doesn't just see doesn't seem worth it for a teleport anymore. Especially when the enemy is actually slowly pushing. But that being said, she doesn't lose out on the EXP, so she is gonna be level 4 tied with the Cho'Gath here. But she teleported back to lane and immediately falls to half out. Zyra gonna get rooted up here. It's the rest of the CC coming through, but the ignite is burning on the gen. Two ignites trade the back. Zyra is on fire as well. She's a plant that should just outright kill her. Magical journey teleporting in the fiddlesticks. Flash and the binding kills off the Zyra for the bard. Bard gets the first blood. Ash being caught out in the alcove is gonna be the next victim here. One more shot from the gen will get it. He does get it. 300 gold over to the gen. Excellent start here for blue team killing off the bot lane. 
Chain's not going to hit onto the Shaco, so he will deceive out and be totally fine here. 8,000 gold to 6.8k. Shift, box, everything will be fine. Zeras is tanking a bit of poke. 1400 gold lead for blue team. CS is mostly pretty even. In fact, Fiora is winning. And coupled on top of the two kills, that's basically all of the goal lead coming. Uh, where all the goal lead is being generated from. Five minutes and a half. Pings are going down onto the Drake. Backstabs onto the minions. So now we're just getting into a time in the game where we're farming. But you can see red team farms a little bit better. They've actually earned about 200 gold worth of differential back in their favor. Ooh, Shaco takes a little bit of poke there. He has level 6. Hallucinations hurt a lot when they die if you're AP Shaco. It does seem like he's still pretty aggressive onto the Zeras. Zeras is now level 6. Arcano Paws not going to tag the Shaco. He is going to be fine. He's going to be very hard to kill for Zeras. He does need to be careful. Zeras' artillery can be dodged pretty easily by a Shaco player. Blue team is going to get a start on Drake. Lee Sin wants to go in. He doesn't get it. A smite over to the Fiddlesticks, but Lee Sin claims the kill. Now bot lane for blue team. They had to try to back out here. Magical journey over the wall. Lee Sin, Sonic Wave does land. Resident Evil connects. This might be a dead gem, but the first time might save him. No, it does not. But the Lee Sin flashes for the kill anyway. So that is going to be a Lee Sin flash and an Ash flash as Fiddlesticks pings out. So the AD carry does get caught out and die, but they do secure the Drake. They drop probably one more body than they're willing to commit for that play. Securing the objective is always kind of a plus though, as long as you don't catastrophically lose the game off it. But for now, red team, they surrender the Ocean Drake, but at least they pull the gold lead back completely even. Flash Barrier is going to tank it out. No, it's not. The Ignite will get the kill. Solo kill over to the Shaco. He is now 4 CS ahead and a solo kill. You can see blue team's kind of feeling it. Everybody's carrying pinks. Except the one person that shouldn't be buying pinks. Almost 8 minutes into this game now. That means Harold has spawned. Which jungler will prioritize top lane now to try to get that Harold? It is a It is one of those objectives that can just instantly end the game if you deploy it at the right time. And you don't even need that much IQ to deploy it. The most standard play is just Harold gank top and boom, you win the game. Arrow is gonna come in. It does smack the Fiora clean across the face. Cho'Gas gets the easiest feast of his life. There's going to be a kill up top. Fiora gets pinned by a perpendicular arrow. That is just straight up unlucky and we're being blind. She couldn't even see that arrow until it was basically right about to hit because it was flying over walls for the most part. But damn, if that was not an unfortunate, unfortunate death. Now Ash no longer has arrow for her own lane, so she does have to be careful while still farming up. And Cho'Gath gonna go ham a little bit on the tower. There's a missed opportunity here from Lee Sin. He went for the Krux instead of the Herald. He could have taken Herald off that kill. Just because he knows top lane cannot possibly contest. Fiddlesticks is going to make his way into the top river. They might be looking to do something here. He is going to secure the Scuttle Crab for Vision. So Lee Sin is going to transition into the boss side of the jungle. Mid lane is just going to farm it out. Ash Ultimate, 30 seconds out. They still want to make something happen. Shaco standing on a ward. He did box. Are they going to find out? Lee Sin might find it difficult to close onto him, but Ash is coming from behind. The chain, it will not hit, he deceives out of the way. And that's going to call off the gank. Ash heads back to her own lane. Lee Sin going to grab the second round of blue buffs. 
And here comes the crow storm. It doesn't connect on the Zeras. There's no fear. But Fiora's coming in from the side, getting the easiest KS of all time. Completely earned by the Fiora, really. But now she's actually quite behind the Cho'Gath. And here comes the Ash Crystal Arrow. Is it finally back up? The CC, the everything is landing. Flash away, grabbing the Waykeeper Shrine. That's going to keep him safe. And the damage is turning on the Zyra. She's on fire. She's burning, but she's not going to die. The four shot from the Curtain Call nails the Lee Sin, but at full health. So it doesn't do anything here. Zyra steps on a trap. It's not going to blow up on her. Bard. He might be looking for something here, resonating the strike, it does connect, that's the only way Lee Sin can go. He kicks back the Bard, and the volley finds the kill. The deadly capture, the captive audience, not going to find the root, so Bard finds that shutdown onto the Lee Sin player. And the top lane, have to be careful, the Fiora gets caught up in the rupture, and Cho'Gas will take that time to just walk away. Fiddlesticks is clearing up bot lane, they know where he's there, they know the red team jungler's dead. Cho'Gas has to be careful. He wants to turn this, he wants to get a feast. But this might be dangerous. Feasting a Fiora is always a very risky play. She can always repost it and turn it right back on you. It's very obvious that the Cho'Gas is going for a feast. Oh, she's solo. She's in nom range. She does preemptively repost, expecting a feast, but the Cho'Gas doesn't pop it. Now, suddenly, he has the tools to beat her for like 10 more seconds before Repulse comes back up. Scream, they're guessing the wrong brush. Lee Sin, he's going to try the Sonic Wave forward, but doesn't get it. The Rupture, it won't find it. The Slow Smite, the everything, the Word Hop. It does get the kill onto the Fiora. She does die. The second death onto the top laner. And now, Lee Sin is going to move to secure Herald, surely. But Fiddlesticks, he's in pro close proximity. He is going to opt to gank out the Cho'Gas. Crows from over the wall. Not going to find that, but he's slashing forward. He wants it anyway. He's walking into no vision, but the flea, the drain, the harvest is there. They kill off the Cho'Gas, and now Lee Sin can't Herald. He knows that the Fiddlesticks is near. He's just going to take a Scuttle Crap instead. Nobody has killed Scuttle this game. Meanwhile, bot lane, Enchanted Crystal Arrow is going to fire onto the gen. He's taking so much damage. The Temper Fate is not there to save him in time. And Milling's gonna get ganked. The Shaco clone is trying to buy some time. Lisa's gonna flash forward, but he can't find the damage. The artillery does. Seras finds a long range kill, but Fiora finds one back on the Lisa. It's gonna be a one for one exchange. A bot lane. The bard is still getting tied up. The plants are smacking away at him. Arrows being shot into the tower. Bard not going to find the Q stun. Fiora has walked her all the way down bot. It is the long march. Is she going to make anything happen here? She does have the grand challenge. She will issue it onto the ash. She's taking so much damage. But the root, the damage, the ignite, everything's coming down. Zyra kills her off and Bar claims the sh shutdown onto the ash. The support just gets every kill this game apparently. 3-1-1. One, one. This Bard is fed. Fiora trying her best to help, but she just gets killed off. And that means Cho'Gas this whole time has just been farming top lane. So he's getting so rich off the back of Fiora's world tour, apparently. And now the tower is under threat again at top lane. The jungler is not in position to assist. They might just have to let this go, or at least let it be stripped back down to one plate. But no, Cho'Gas can just kill it off that wave. If nobody contests it. That's very likely. First tower. Over to red team. Without the aid of a herald, the top lane turret might just die now. Blue team does secure a playback for themselves. The score is 8 to 8. There is first turret for the Cho'Gas. Fiora makes it back a little bit too late. Shaco going to try to hit the tower, but he can't do it. Ward not in the brush. Damn. But Lee Sins can move on into the Drake pit. Blue team is quick to the draw. They already contested him. Shaco's behind. There's the pincer. Lee Sin war hops off the side. Curtain call is being dropped. The first bullet nails him. The second bullet slows him down further. He needs to try to get out of the cone. He doesn't. All four bullets hit him. The Shaco is coming down. Temper fate. It doesn't hit him. But the Shaco to see forward. He's running out of damage. He's AP. And he ran out of shifts. The Q tanks out by the uh, tanked out by the box. Teleport coming down from the Cho'Gath. They want the reverse pincer. But this is a really awkward position. Nobody else from his team is in position. The rupture not going to hit anybody. Shaco in the back does get caught out by the Lee Sin, but he's just fine. He's the clown. He can get out whenever he wants. Red team is going to move on to the Drake. Jen on the other side. He's smacking away at the plants. Red team has started the Drake. 
captive audience looking for a poke but there's no vision red team secures the drake it's five strong they can't contest shaco still on the other side of the wall he's now moving away there's the deceit to juke out the rupture and now he really has to run cloud drake he does get revealed the artillery is raining down on him he's running out of juke tools but the box is going to slow down his pursuers. The rest of the blue team not going to even try to save him. This is kind of a lost cause. But Shaco is tying up a lot of attention. What can the team do off the back of this? Not much. He can set up a wave. That's about it. He's still there. Shaco, he's not going to land the sonic wave. He's just going to walk away. The Trogas gets us wrong. And he's going to walk down. He's actually alive. Off the back of that Fiora. She's going to tank a tower shot. Just ending this game. The box and pops. Shaco's not house. He lives. Zeras has no ultimate. He seems like he will get out here. He's going to flash a master emo. No, he walks into the sonic wave. Oh, it was so close. If he just kept walking, he would have just been fine. Save the box, tank a sonic wave with it, and just keep walking. He had to flash a mastery emote, and that's going to get him killed off. And now red team firmly in the lead now. What can they do with it? Shaco just bought about a minute and a half worth of time, but it's not going to convert to anything. The trap is going to get dropped under the ash. The CC perfectly layered, and the ash going to get chained down. But the Zyra counters with her ultimate. It's not enough. The plan's not going to kill off the gen. That's going to be a 2 for 0 in bot lane. Beautiful catch out there by the blue team. And Bart finds his fourth kill. He has the highest kills in the game, tied with the enemy Lee Sin. Fiora gonna walk a little bit too far, she's gonna get caught out here, she is 2 and 4, she's not doing well, but she has Ravenous Hydro, which means she can lifesteal, and she can fight. If she can see, then she can fight, but the Cho'Gaz will just walk away. Nobody has killed this Herald, by the way, it's 16 and a half minutes, the Crowstorm comes in, the Fear lands, Cho'Gaz is slowly taking down, the Repost is there, it does block the Feast, and they kill off the Cho'Gaz, the outplay is real, Shaco gonna walk over the wall, and he is going to be a human ward, he sees the Lee Sin, probably, he plants down the box, Lee Sin gonna kill the Red, Shaco might have caught a glimpse of him, probably, he's just chasing after him, blinks over the wall, he doesn't find the Lee Sin, Lee Sin is gonna walk bot, and this is gonna. This might be a top wave siege here. Shaco is still camping in the brush. He's trying to cut off reinforcements, but Lee Sin is coming up. What can the Shaco really do here? He doesn't have damage. He doesn't have the burst. He can't kill a Lee Sin like this. Lee Sin is just gonna opt to wave clear, but the Proto Belt attacks him. That means Shaco draws tower aggro. He's standing still to tank it. Sonic wave onto the Fiora. The repost. He's, she's expecting Dragon's Rage, but it doesn't get dropped. Bot lane, they're gonna lose the blue team turret. Zyra's gonna get rooted up. The damage is landing. Jin coming up with the gun, but he can't shoot. Meanwhile, top lane, this is a monkey fest up here with Lee Sin dashing into a box. He's gonna get feared up. Shaco deceives over the wall. That means Fiora left for dead. She flashes away from the Sonic Wave, but it's not enough. The outplay cannot outplay the click on Dragon's Rage. Shaco bounces the box over to try to make a cheeky catch, but he can't find it. And now he just has to walk away now. They can't do it from here. Fiddle going to try to steal away a raptor. Shaco still anticipating someone to come stop this jungler. But little does he know, red team just doesn't care. They're just making money elsewhere. What can these two really do here? They have to reposition, move elsewhere, look for another play. Fiddle, they are going to spot the Lee Sin. Are they going to let him pass? They let him through the first checkpoint. They let him through the second. The Fiddle sticks. He's popping the crow storm. It's not enough. It does land the fear. Lee Sin dashes into two boxes. The, the boss is doing next to no damage. The fear, the damage is there. And the Shaco has to try to run away. Chogas flashes forward. He secures it onto the Shaco. Fiddle sticks has to try to run. The Ash is coming down. The Wally, the slow is there. This is a very, very dead Scarecrow. He presses S. He knows his fate. He accepts it. Temper fate. It lands onto the Zyra. The rest of the CC is coming down. The support gets caught out here, but she's not dying. The damage is too extreme. The, show, the Zeras long range artillery barrage helps as well. They kill off the blue team bot lane. Suddenly four bodies have dropped here for a blue team. It's just a Fiora left. She's brawling one on one. The grand challenge has been issued, except she can't win her own challenge. The Cho'Gas is just hugging the wall for dear life. He does live, but the Vitals are still spawning. He can't survive. Fiora takes a solo kill. But the mid turret is under siege. Red team wants to take way more than they're giving out. 30 seconds out from Drake. Lee Sin is already in the pit. The rest of blue team just now respawning in trickles. Shaco going to deceive in. Plant down a box, but he can't make a play happen. He has no damage to his name. Ash is just going to farm it out here. There's a lot of action happening, but blue team is winning none of them. It's just been red team coming out on top. Blue team has just lived to 
do mental warfare, it seems like. They're not winning this, but damn if it's annoying to get these kills here for a red team. But the win's a win. Effigy over the wall, teleport coming down from the Trogas. Fiora it will use her legs instead. Shaco coming back, he wants to lay down some damage, he's sending in the clone. The clone is a human ward, it's warding out the back. The Crowstorm is coming in, they don't get the secure, Feast gets it instead. The snipe onto the Zyra confirms the first kill of the fight, and now the fight breaks out, Ash is being zoned off. Meanwhile on the bottom side here, she's going to turn around, kill off the Fiddlesticks. But here comes the Trogas, he's being CC'd, he has to try to run away. Rupture onto the gen, he gets slowed down, but he gets through the back instead. Shaco lights him up fire and the rest of the damage might be coming down soon one more shot will do it the uh jen confirms the fourth kill with his final bullet the rest of red team has to try to run away they finally won for three but they lost the drake blue team loses the drake but finds an advantageous team fight the arrow gets tanked out by the shako but the zeras erases the gen of the face of the planet the part the low age stun is there is two stuns that's going to be a delayed ace every member of red team drops dead the kill score is down 17 to 17 but the bard walks up too far he does execute it a beautiful play he doesn't even give away his kill bounty he doesn't have a kill bounty anymore but he doesn't even give any gold back Zyra's gonna come in the extreme ultimate gets plopped up but Fiora kills off the tower, but the Shaco is burning, he needs to try to get out, Blue Smite bringing down the Wrath of the Gods, he's not gonna make it out, Blue Team overstays after a winning team fight, and that means Red Team making a play towards the Baron Nasher, however they're going, there was no damage, it's just least in the Trogas, they will take a metric ton of time to kill this Baron Nasher, Fiddlesticks is gonna drain away the Grump, he's in pro close proximity, they are going to fight over the Scuttle, Fiddlesticks is outnumbered, he has to try to run, Lee Sin, He's going to farm this scuttle. And the rest of the red team are positioning near the pit. Oh, Zyra! She pops the, she pops the blast cone, sends Fiddlesticks on a journey. But that means red team has started the Baron Nasher. Blue team knows this. They have to try to close in. The ward is sees it for a brief second and again gets shut down. The jungler is going to get caught. He gets stunned. The crystal arrow whizzes past. But so much lockdown has already killed out the jungler. What is blue team's call? They probably can't contest this from here. The Jin, he's going to get caught out here. The rupture, the sonic wave, the damage is locked down. Is there. Lee Sin kills off the AD carry. There's no jungler. This Baron is lost. Red team will move back onto it. There's still no engage. Nobody on blue team has pulled the trigger. Shaco is going to come in for a protobel. He's going to send in the clone. The most obvious clone of all time. But this is a slow as hell Baron. Red team is just not killing this in time. The clone is chasing after the Zyra. The meat damage will contribute a little bit as well. The clone gets leashed back because it goes beyond the range. Lee Sin lands the sonic wave. The flashback from the Shaco. He has to try to run away. Fiora pops a repulse on the other side. The redemption does get dropped. That kill from the Bard. That's going to be his 7th. But that's also going to be his his fourth death of this game the ash comes over and claims her reward and now red team are they gonna move back to Baron? no there's still an annoying clown on the right side he is dropping the boxes he blasts cones one back but those rest of red team they're not gonna check that they're still gonna go back on the baron they are not giving up on this snake they want it but the jungler and ad carry have already respawned and now four members beelining back into the pit this is still such a slow Baron teleport coming down from the Fiora. They don't want to give this up yet if they can help it. The bullets are coming down onto the Trogath. The, but the Shaco, he's going to be locked up. The Dragon's Rage, the kill is there. The mid laner does die. 2, 5, and 6. Shaco has done almost nothing this game. He's just been annoying. But annoyance doesn't win you games. This isn't magic. You can't just go mono blue and win because your opponent concedes out of rage. Zyra is going to try to root up the uh, Fiora, but she's not going to find it. Fiora is just going to make her way back. The root, the damage is stunned. Everything is trading back onto the gen. He can't survive this. The feast. Trogas eats him alive. And now the Fiora comes in for the damage. The true damage. The poke is coming up. But the close storm is draining the ash. She can't survive. She gets burned down. No AD carries left in the fight. But the Zeras is still safe and sound in the back line. And he has so much damage to his name. Unlike the Shaco here. The dragon is going to spawn in a minute, and apparently nobody cares, they're still fighting around this pit. Bard is going to walk back into mid lane, they're going to show, Fiora is going to rotate to boss side. Is that going to draw attention here? Red team still four men strong around the mid lane. They're going to farm it off for a while, but Drake is spawning in 36, so no rest for the weary. Cho'Gas is going to walk around, but Fiora is killing the wolves next to him. 
Artemis, but it's gonna splash back onto the Zyra Fiora. She's standing still. She gets caught out here by the Lee Sin, but there's another ally coming in. The Silence, she can lunge forward. She will try to escape. Can she make it out here? Zeras is coming in as well. The chain is gonna be flashed away, but the damage is there. The WI of the Storm uh, Center damage finds her. Not true damage. I almost said true damage, but it's not true damage. Zeras is gonna claim himself a blue buff. Shaco's on the side. He gets swept out. Lee Sin finds him, but the hallucinate. They know which one's the real one. Dragon's Rage kicks back. He's gonna send his clone behind. The artillery drops once again, but it's not gonna find the Shaco kill. The Crow Storm burns down the Zyra. The redemption is getting dropped as well. Felix doesn't receive the healing, but the Ash gets left out by the Temper Fate. And the burst down from across the wall, but the Felix Six has died to the damage. And the Bard, he cannot be ironed in the middle of the team. He can't survive here. The Jin has no more cover. He has to try to run away righteous glory gets popped but there's no chase and red team is gonna move to secure the cloud drake for themselves that's gonna be their third drake and put the game on soul point the curtain call comes down he wants to steal but the bullets are being blocked out one more bullet will do it he snipes the Lee Sin, but that's not enough the shogas is the secondary smite and he eats the drake at 12 hp red team secures their drake but they lose their jungler the Jin does get it back 26 minutes in nobody has killed a herald Nobody has killed a Baron just because both teams do it so slowly. But they can secure Drakes, and one more will mean the soul. Jin is going to be a survivor here. 5, 6, and 6. Siege coming down on the mid lane. Blinks forward to Siege. Shiv is going to do about 50 damage to the Trogas, because let's be real, it's an AP Shaco that rushed Hourglass <laughs> and Proto Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do damage with those items, not on AP Shaco. I mean, is annoyance enough to win the game for you? <laughs> really? Is it really? I th I don't think you can. Like you, being annoying in League of Legends is nowhere near as efficient as just outright killing people. Did Cho'Gath just nom a cannon and fail? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, he, he definitely did. Hold on. How much cannon? This this cannon has 2,200 health? Oh no, he didn't nom it. Oh god. Oh no. Well, that happened. So there's a feast gone. Yeah, cannons have a deceptively high health bar. The feast, uh, feast just can't kill it. And then the rest of the fight might be breaking out. Lee Sin walks into the trap. Blue Red team, they want Baron again. But have they not learned their lesson? <laughs> their team just does this Baron so slowly. They can't start this without having killed everybody else. Maybe that will start it off. Sonic Wave lands on the gen. But the catch out might be onto the Shaco. He has to try to run away. But the artillery might be coming down. They guess right. They guess them. The arrow nails him. The Shaco is dead. There's no mid laner left. If he is the mid laner at all. Bard R is ready, says the Shaco. But... To be honest, is he worth saving? Not really. <laughs> Instead of paying out Bard Ultimate, how about you just dodge? The damage is coming down on the Baron. And now, this might truly be an uncontested take. Still not the fastest Baron, but this one will definitely do the job. Fury is still split pushing a bot lane. Curtain Call is coming down. Baron drops to 2,000. Where's the fiddle sticks? He needs to try to go in. Temper Fate. It stops the Baron attempt, but only for a brief moment. It's gonna be locked down. The Crow Swarm was there, but the fiddle sticks never deployed it. He couldn't find the angle. Fiora, in the meantime, does kill off the bot turret. She is going for the inhib, but the Righteous Glory. Everything is coming down. That's a four, man. Gank onto the Fiora. She doesn't get it. Fiora doesn't secure the bot inhibitor, and that's a disastrous turn of events. 28 and a half minutes, red team 5 man strong, they have Baron Nasher. They might just make a push. This game was not winnable for blue team, let's be honest. Like, they just don't have the damage to do it. This Shaco mid has done, like, what, 4 damage? <laughs> this whole game? Red work gonna be killed off. I'm so tempted to check the damage charts after this game's over. I want to know how much damage this Shaco did. It can't be, like it has to be like half of their other cores. Less than. It just doesn't do that much. Like, if you're building AP Shaco, fine. But you need you need more explosive items than Hourglass and Proto Bell. Like Proto Bell first, fine. Hourglass second means you lose so much damage. You need a ton of AP. 
and Zionist is not that item. Bard gonna get caught out, self temper fate to try and lock himself down, but there's a hangry, hungry, hungry dinosaur, and he's there chomping down. The crow storm is there, but can he make the catch out? No, he can't. That's a 1v3. He's not winning that. He has to try to blast comb back. 29 and a half minutes in, Shaco's there. All right, man, follow your dreams. He wants to do the back door, but he's back dooring against Baron Buff. Can he do it here? He does hallucinate. He's smacking away at the end hip. He might get this here, but Red Team is just gonna end the game. Like you can't make this play. You lose your you lose your base. But then again, what the Shaco? What can he really do? The minions are just gonna beat the crap out of him. He has to try to deceive away the Lyandry's burn. It's on him. The Lyandry's finishes him off. And now the Zeras artillery coming over the other side. There's no hope left. This is a four-man siege. Curtain call gets dropped. But let's be real. What can you kill with this thing? Absolutely nothing. The Bard. He's gonna be knocked up again. And here comes the damage. The support dies once again. And he has been the most fed this game. They do try to make a last ditch attempt to defend, but let's be honest, who can really stop this? Jin's gonna try for a cheeky force bullet, the stun nails him, but they can't find the kill. Doesn't really matter, really. That's gonna be the game. Red team will take it, just 30 minutes into the game. My god, what a mess. Don't pick Shaco mid, this happens. This will happen, every time. Alright, now as promised, let's uh, check this damage chart. Graphs. Damage dealt. Where's the Shaco? How is that possible? What the frick? I, I was looking at him, man. Then again, the rest of blue team doesn't really do that much damage. Come on! I refuse to believe he did that much to champions. I think like... 60-70% of it is from the box. From, from his boxes. But he himself, after like 10 minutes, just stopped being able to kill people. But regardless... That's gonna be the end of that replay. Okay, well, I do apologize to Shaco. I saw he did way less damage than that, but come on, man. It's, don't do this.